Several law enforcement agencies in Trumbull County are banding together once again in an effort to catch impaired drivers before disaster strikes. But is the problem getting any better? Yes and no. Corey McRae takes a look at the complicated ways impaired driving st statistics are changing both for the better and for worse. Corey. Terry Madison, good evening. Officials say the campaign takes place during the 100 deadliest days of the summer, but says the proactive measure aims to make the roads a safer place. If you're thinking about getting behind the wheel while under the influence of drugs or alcohol, you may want to reconsider. There are never any warnings. If you drive impaired, you will be arrested. Law enforcement agencies across Trumbull County are cracking down on anyone who decides to get behind the wheel impaired. In 2023, 20 crashes claimed the lives of 24 people. 75% of those were OVI related, surpassing Mahoning County. 263 arrests were made, down 32 from the previous year. 38 of those were drug related. We had 75% of our fatals involved uh, OVI uh, last year. That's a, a terrible number. That's high, a little bit higher than other places here in Ohio. Trumbull County Sheriff Paul Monroe didn't mince any words when talking about the seriousness of the issue and the impact that one person's decision has had on many others. And it's not so much that driver, it's who did you affect, the families, the vehicle they hit, the people that were sens senselessly injured. Monroe also explained that officers are trained on detecting drug impairment, which has played a pivotal role since recreational marijuana was legalized. Mahoning County OSP Lieutenant echoed those words, but also told me that less manpower on the road means fewer arrests. With more local news, I'm Corey McRae.